Welcome to Acids and Bases Part 5. This part of the video tutorial series will focus on the concept of um, KW and its relationship to hydrogen and hydroxide ion concentrations. Let's get started. Alrighty. Um, water. Is it an acid or a base? Hmm. Let's look at this. From our Bronston Lowry video tutorial, we've learned to recognize conjugate acid-base pairs. So if you're not familiar with this concept, please go back to the earlier video. So to figure out um, the acids and bases, we look at the reactants and we compare, and we see that the HCl lost a proton, so that would make it the acid. And then the chloride, because these two differ, by reactants and products differ by one proton, we would describe the chloride as the conjugate base. So this would be our first conjugate acid-base pair. So in every acid-base reaction, there's going to be an acid and a base. And the water is serving in the role of the base because it accepted the proton from the acid to create the hydronium ion. So that would be our conjugate acid. So here we've labeled the conjugate acid base pairs of the first reaction. So in this reaction, water was a base. Now let's look at our next reaction. We look at our reactants and compare them to the products. And here we see that the ammonia received, accepted a proton. So it took the role of the base. So the ammonium ion would be the conjugate acid. And so we found the first conjugate acid-base pair. Right? Conjugate acid-base pairs always occur across the reaction arrows. Water, in this case, donated a proton to the ammonia. So in this example, water acted like an acid. And so then that means the hydroxide would be the conjugate base. So there is our second conjugate acid-base pair. So this property of water is, is water an acid or a base? Yes. <laughs> Which doesn't really make any sense, right? It's amphoteric. Water can act as an acid or a base. So it depends, everything's relative. So in this first example, hydrochloric acid is a stronger acid than water, so water takes the role of the base. In the second example, ammonia is a stronger base than water, so water takes the role of the acid. So water plays off the other elements in the reaction. So that leads us to look at the self-reaction of water. So in theory, water could react with itself, right? And so we could say this molecule is acting as the acid, and this molecule is acting as the base. And so we would get the base would accept the proton, and this would be our conjugate acid. And then we would have our hydroxide, which would be our conjugate base. So, um, from here, we can develop the concepts of a solution being neutral, acidic, or basic. So, when we say a solution is neutral, we are going to say that the hydronium and the hydroxide con concentrations are equal. So the concentration of hydronium equals the concentration of hydroxide. In an acidic solution, we are going to say that there is a higher concentration of hydronium than the hydroxide. And in a basic solution, we will say that the base has a higher concentration than the hydronium. 
right? So you got to know your greater and less thans, right? So there, this is greater. So an acidic solution has a greater concentration of the hydronium ions, and a basic solution has a greater concentration of hydroxide. And we understand that in water, we will always have a mix of both. All righty. So some people that have traveled this journey before us, they did a bunch of measurements with water. And they made some important observations that can help us um, perform calculations. Um, we have the KW expression. And so this is for, the W is standing for water. So when we're in an aqueous environment, what we've learned is that if we multiply the hydronium concentration by the hydroxide concentration, they're always going to add up or multiply to 10 to the minus 4. So these concentrations we report in M for molarity, remembering that that's moles per liter. So um, the units kind of slip away here, but it's important for you to be aware that if you're doing these type of calculations, you always do them with molarities. So here we are, here's the information from before, but now if we take our basic definition of acidic, neutral, and basic, and let's connect it to the KW expression. So, and I think sometimes it's easier to start at neutral, right? So if the hydronium and the hydroxide concentrations are neutral and they have to multiply together to make 10 to the minus 14, then what do we know? The hydronium ion concentration is going to be 10 to the minus 7. And because of all these coefficients of 1, um, don't be surprised if I start ignoring them. And when you read information, don't be surprised. So if we see an exponential term without a coefficient, we always assume 1. So for acidic, we have a greater hydro hydronium concentration. So mathematically, with these negative exponents, right, recognize that that means that the hydronium concentration is going to be greater than 10 to the minus 7. So since these are negative exponents, right, the exponential number becomes smaller. And then for base, we will have a basic environment has more hydroxide. So if there's more hydroxide, that means we're going to have less hydronium. All right. So um, let's um, practice using the KW expression with some different solutions. So for example, um, coffee has a hydronium concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. Let's calculate the hydroxide concentration. And let's um, determine whether or not the coffee is acidic or basic. Well, since this question has already given us the hydronium concentration, we can already answer acidic or basic, right? So 10 to the minus, what's the relationship between 10 to the minus 5 and 10 to the minus 7, right? So the 10 to the minus 5, that came from our question. Which number is bigger? 10 to the minus 5 is a bigger number. So since this concentration is greater than 10 to the minus 7, coffee is acidic. Which is why, for some of us, it can upset our tummies. All right. Now let's go ahead and calculate the hydroxide equation. So basically, this is, this is a very simple algebraic expression. The Kw equals 10 to the minus 14. And we know that equals the hydronium times the hydroxide. And we know the hydronium concentration, so we can plug that in. 10 to the minus 14 equals 10 to the minus 5 times the hydroxide. So we just do some simple algebra. Divide both sides by 10 to the minus 5. Right? And our hydroxide concentration will be 10 to the minus 9 molar. 
and we can put the we'll put the one back in but it's understood okay let's we'll try two more and that'll wrap up this tutorial so um, the digestive solution in our stomachs has a hydroxide concentration of 10 to the minus 12 um, what is the hydronium ion concentration of this solution so I'm going to wait on the acidic or basic part until we've done our calculation, right? So it's going to be exactly the same. The Kw always equals 10 to the minus 14, and it always equals the hydronium times the hydroxide. However, this time, we've been given the hydroxide. So our hydronium concentration will be 10 to the minus 14, divided by 10 to the minus 12. So that would give us um, 10 to the minus 2 molar. And so if we look at 10 to the, so that's the answer to the first part. And then we look at the relationship between 10 to the minus 2 and 10 to the minus 7. 10 to the minus 2 is a larger number and so when we have a high hydronium ion concentration, we would say, and of course, the digestive solution in our stomachs is stomach acid. So this makes sense, right? Okay. And now let's work one last one. Liquid soap. Liquid soap has a hydrogen ion concentration of 1 times 10 to the minus 9 molar. What is the hydroxide concentration of liquid soap? So by now, this should be getting pretty comfortable for you. And we would have the hydronium and the hydroxide. So in this example, we were given the hydronium, so we would plug that in. And the hydroxide solution would be 10 to the minus 14 divided by 10 to the minus 9, which would be 10 to the minus 5 molar hydroxide. Okay. Is um, soap acidic or basic? Well, here's our hydronium ion concentration, 10 to the minus 9 versus 10 to the minus 7. So in this case, right, the 10 to the minus 9 is smaller. So since the hydronium ion concentration is less than 10 to the minus 7, we recognize that soap would be a basic solution. All righty. So um, this concludes our tutorial on KW. Please take some time now to work a few homework problems to reinforce your understanding.